Hi, it's Mrs. Franzosa again, and today we're going to talk a little bit about working on catching skills. And there are a lot of different ways to work on catching. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to practice getting our hands ready. So when we're going to catch the ball, we want our hands to be in front of us, and we want it to be about the size of the ball. So if we're catching a ball this size, our hands should be so like about this far apart, so they're going to cup the ball. We don't want to have our hands out too wide or too small. So some different ways, especially if you don't have someone to play catch with, that you can still work on your catching skills, is by doing some bouncing and catching. So I can bounce the ball in front of me and catch it when it comes back up. Okay, that's one way that I have some of my students work on catching. Another way you can work on catching is throwing at a wall and having the ball bounce back and catching it on one bounce if you can. So for a lot of my friends, I put a target up on the wall. So part, one of the secrets of having it bounce back so you can catch it is to try and always throw it to the same spot if possible. And then I might have something on the ground that I want for them to stand behind or stand near. Because if we stand too far to one side from our target, it's gonna bounce back in a funny way. So we wanna throw it at the wall. So I'm gonna take the ball, I'm gonna throw it to my target, bounce and catch. Throw, bounce and catch. A lot of my friends tend to have roots growing from their feet when they're trying to catch a ball. Okay, so one of the things we talk about is you have to watch the ball and you have to move towards the ball. So if the ball goes to the side of my target, I might need to move my feet so I can get in front of the ball. I might need to get low or bring my hands up high. Some other ways we can work on catching if you don't have a ball handy. is you can use a scarf or even a stuffed animal. So obviously we're not gonna throw our stuffed animals at the wall because I know some of my friends would be really sad about that, but you can practice just throwing up and catching. So your eye is staying on your target, on my koala bear. If I throw off target, I might need to move my feet and keep watching the koala bear. You can do this with a scarf. This is a juggling scarf. But if you have, you could do it with a face cloth or you could do it something that's a little bit lighter than a face cloth will be um, a little, it'll move more slowly so it's a little easier to catch. But a dish towel, a face cloth, um, you know, a little decorative scarf, anything like that will work. So we're going to throw it up and catch. So you can do two hands. You can hide one hand behind your back. And you can even work on catching. Whoa! <laughs> That's the problem of doing this outside. <laughs> Wind took that one, but you can throw it from one hand to the other. I can't throw it that way because the wind's not letting me. <laughs> and my daughter thinks this is very funny. So some different ways you can work on catching. You can bounce the ball and catch it. You can bounce it at a wall and catch it when it comes back to you. You can work with a stuffed animal or you could even work with a scarf. All right, so have fun. Thanks.